Welcome to Croatia. We are currently in Split and we have one day here, so we're gonna take you through everything you can do in a day in Split. Yeah, I'm so excited. Welcome to Old Town. We've said it before and we'll keep saying it. If you only have one day in a European city, go explore the Old Town. Split, the second largest city in Croatia, is full of beautiful sights and fascinating history. Dating back to the third century, the heart of Split's Old Town is the magnificent Diocletian's Palace, built for the Roman Emperor in 295 AD. It took 10 years to build this palace and he built it for his retirement home. Not too shabby for a retirement spot, hey? After the build of this palace, Split experienced massive growth and then was conquered by various emperors and rulers over time. It wasn't until recent years that Split began to gain its independence back. It was in 1944 that Split was liberated and the People's Government of Croatia was formed. Needless to say, there is a lot to see within Diocletian's palace. We're going to take you to the highlights, but arguably one of the coolest things we've ever seen is this 3,500 year old sphinx. 12 sphinxes were brought to split after Diocletian put down a rebellion in Egypt. Unfortunately, only one survived and is now standing here. Now let's head on into some other historic areas of this grand palace. Doors. Here you go. Much to what you might think, the crypt is not in this basement looking thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, it is another basement. This does look crypt-like. It's cold. Ooh, beautiful. So the strangest thing happened the moment we walked into the crypt. All of our camera footage was lost. We were able to film walking in and walking out, but everything in the crypt is just a black screen. So we'll just leave that up to your imagination. to the sign, even if they were just mini paintings. They were so beautiful. To the cathedral or the bell tower. I'm not sure which one we're at. We might be at both. The Cathedral of St. Dominus is an incredibly preserved piece of architecture. Regarded as the oldest Catholic cathedral in the world that remains in use in its original structure. The doors themselves are an incredible piece of preserved sculpture designed in 1214. The door contains 14 scenes from the life of Jesus. I think we have a few more steps to go. Yes. Yeah. We did. I didn't know you were running all of those workouts yesterday. When I get to the top of something is when I remember I'm just like a little bit afraid of heights. <laughs> so that's the entrance that we walked in earlier. And then if we go over here, there's our massive cruise ship that we're staying in. Of course, the mountains mixed with the medieval and Roman architecture is definitely more appealing to me, but everyone has their own preferences. There's just, there's a lot of people up here. Is there a weight limit? on ancient architecture. Megan's officially getting escorted 
by the police. <laughs> what did you do, Megan? What did you do? <laughs> We're about to find out what she did. <laughs> and kind of slippery. Last set of stairs has a designated exit, which is really nice. I lost Megan. I'm really not sure where they took her. I'm just kidding. Somebody's holding the camera, right? I'm pretty sure they were just on their lunch break. I mean, what a view to have for your lunch break, though. Also, let's talk about how busy it got here. It is 11 o'clock, and we definitely did not have that line. So, get here early. So right now we are in the basement of Diocletian's palace and this entire palace was built from 295 AD to 305 AD. Like put that in perspective, like almost 2000 years ago and it's still standing. Like what? <laughs> can play a game called where did Andrew go? Which doorway do you think Andrew's in? A room here with a single head. I know Megan was looking for the restroom so I did find the restroom. Uh, oh. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I was like so many doorways. Yeah. It's like we've lost one another forever. This way. Ancient toilet to the right. Remember to turn your mic off. <laughs> I feel like I definitely saw this in a horror film somewhere. Okay, I literally have lost Megan. She went to the toilet. Oh my gosh. Were you in the bathroom the entire time? I don't know how I'm po possibly supposed to find you in this maze. How long have you been out of the bathroom? I mean, there were two people in front of me, and then I was thinking, Andrew's probably gonna get worried because it's been a long time. And then... It's been 20 minutes. It has not been yes. 20 minutes. <laughs> Look at this room. You feel how circulated it is for being in the, like a basement? So that doesn't go anywhere. No. Some very big rocks. Ta -da. Whoa. <laughs> Look at those rocks. Did you join the tour group? I was learning about Game of Thrones oh. stuff. What did you learn? This is where the dragons were kept. Oh, yeah. Can't oh. see. It is bright out here. Right. That's so, better. That's totally bird poop. Did you want an ice cream? What about gelato? You know gelato is not the same as ice cream. <laughs> get lost on these little windy streets. Where you're going? No, I figured I'd find it on the way though. <laughs> I like it. Okay, everyone's carrying around what well, looks like pizza. We think it might be here. Molinar. There is pizza. I mean. Oh yeah. Hmm. Ham, cheese. They said spicy. Mm. Okay. They also probably picked like the worst place to sit. Yeah. Just like on a stoop here. I think I was hungry. I agree. Somebody's gonna look a little angry. I think I just ate paper. What do you feel like? I feel like there might be more gelato shops here than in Italy. I think like on every corner and like side by side. Yeah. I just feel like everywhere you look, there's history. Yeah. What is going on? 
Lifelong of good luck. We love a lucky toe. We do. Touching the toe of the statue of David Hume, a Scottish philosopher, brings you good fortune. So. This is the grand entrance or the golden gate where Diocletian entered. And of course, you know, being an emperor, he had a grand entrance built for him into the palace. You can see that Roman sentries still guard these walls today. <laughs> All right, Megan wants to touch the toe now for good luck as well. <laughs> She's going for it. She's going for it and touched it. Good luck for life. Do you feel lucky already? I feel an abundance of luck. I knew that there was going to be a place where we could fill water bottles, like some like natural uh, stream or something like that, and we found it. Mm -hmm. the Roman soldier. Yeah. This is a strange life that I'm standing in line for. <laughs> yeah. A little like scratched out. Really trusting the Roman soldier and cheers to the good luck I got from the toe. What's it taste like? Is it questionable? <laughs> well, I was about to take a sip of it, but you know, now that I know that pigeons are bathing in it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've decided it is okay for drinking. Now we are going to muster up the energy to do one more thing. I feel like we have to. Yeah, we were really debating about it, but I was like, okay, we want to see it. We have to show you as well. It's apparently some place that you just can't miss if you're in Split, so let's, let's go. go. You know where we're going. I always know where I'm at, but I don't always know where we're going, but I get us there. That's a true statement. I would absolutely agree with that. You might notice that we are walking the other direction that we just were. Just gathering in the scenery. So, just came to look at the National Theater first. It's not where we were going to take you, though. We'll get there. <laughs> we got a full day bus pass for four euros. It's pretty cheap. It's 20 stops. That's so intense. Yeah, I thought it was kind of a straight shot. I'm gonna count the stops. <laughs> Thank you. It was erected centuries ago to thwart opposing attacks. And because of its strategic importance and role in history, the Klis Fortress has become one of the most important fortresses in Croatia. Klis has written its history dating to the second century BC. Wow. I have been saying it wrong the whole time. It is Klis. Please, fortress. And what are you standing behind right now? Just my cannon. Yeah, yours. Yeah. You've claimed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. This looks very modern. Yeah, who knew that <laughs> <laughs> the was it the Venetians or those the ones who conquered it last time? Really set up some modern plumbing and 
architecture. Because that's where we got it from. I'm going to pass on those stairs. <laughs> My legs feel like they're just going to give out. Too many cruise workouts? Yeah. You got this. Mm. <laughs> I, everything hurts. <laughs> I love the orange rooftops. This is the Oprah Tower. It is the most important part of the fortress because you can see all three defensive parts. So, pretty epic view for those who were guarding it at the time. I'm sure that's not what they were really focused on. What do you think is in that door? Let's go down and check it. This is the secret entrance. Ooh, feels nice in here. Yeah. Are you, are you humming Game of Thrones? Yeah. All right, so if you're in Split, is Cleese Fortress worth viewing? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's a really beautiful view and a really wonderful piece of history. Wonderful might be a bad word. I feel like probably a lot of people died here. Okay, let's go lay down. <laughs> Back to the ship. Back to the ship. Whew, made it. <laughs> what a wonderful day in Split. Tomorrow we will take you to Dubrovnik, but for now, I'm going to eat a lot of food and go to bed. See you tomorrow.